GFCH. It is basically a strategic think tank. Uh, we don't believe that uh, civilizational harmony is possible just through interfaith dinners and get-togethers. We believe that there are basic misconceptions each one of us has about the other person. That is one of the reasons, the root cause for this. You have some religion asserting that theirs is the only way to salvation. We believe that what Rabbi Sahib said, what Shastriji said, that there are many things in Quran, it talks about the importance of the namaz. It talks about the importance of fasting. But how to do it is in Gita. Both are complementary to each other. That's the most important thing. That no religion, all religions, as has been mentioned by all the speakers here, lead us to the path of salvation. Friends, uh, we believe that, as I said, that removing the basic misconception, whether it be of Hindu religion, whether it be about Islam, whether it be about Christianity, that is why when three years back the GFCH was founded, here only, Chinmay Mission, we had religious leaders across the denominations, across the religious divide, across the religious spectrum who came together on a platform. You had the Archbishop, you had Maulana Madani Saab, we had Sri Sri Ravi Shankar. We all came together and thought that it's high time. The United Nations experiment, the League of Nations experiment, everything has failed. We need to have an Eastern initiative and we are not talking about conflict resolution. We are talking about conflict avoidance. A resolution will be there only after the conflict takes place. But we are working towards conflict avoidance. Friends, we have supported the Darul Ulum's effort when they held nationwide convention and issued a fatwa declaring terrorism as anti-Islamic. There is one major issue, I mean, we had supported from our own end, you know. Uh, of course, a lot of organizations were involved in that. And we associate ourselves with such initiatives. We also believe that, as I said, for the past three, four years, we have been organizing Hindu spiritual and service fairs, particularly in Chennai. The objective was that many people particularly from other communities also think and also Hindus think that Hinduism means spirituality. Hindu organization means spiritual organization. They don't do any service activity. So that's why we brought together a lot of organizations who are doing immense service activities, running orphanages, hospitals, you know, charitable dispensaries, schools, colleges. We brought them together under one banner and we try to project that no, they just don't teach spirituality, but also they engage in the service to humanity. Similarly, in the coming days, I'm sure with uh, Shastriji's uh, support and support of people like like-minded people and all of you friends, we are planning to have a fair Islam in the service of nation where we will have Muslim organizations dedicated to serving this country. We will be having them here and I look forward to the support of all of you.